already like the bit. There we go. Welcome to Adeli. Adeli uh, prayer with um, Idikai Mary. Idikai Mary is the mission director for the Idikai Mary's ministries. On behalf of our ministries, I come to you to appeal to you to generously support what I'm doing financially and otherwise. I um, This is not a business. This is something far more beyond all of life. This is God's thing. I have seen God reward me and reward people who I have ministered to in a very big way. Today I come to you to read to you once again John chapter 1 verse 1a In the beginning was the word. That word is Jesus. Jesus his nickname is called the word. He is always in a covenant relationship with his father. You are the most high. You are the most high God. Today I want to share with you something so important. And he says, explore your spirit. Now, I am going to ask you to read the psalm for today, which is psalm number 13, that is 1-3. Psalm number 13. Explore your spirit. You see, when you became born again, when you became born again, something tremendous happened between heaven, where God dwells, the planet heaven, and this earth, and you. And what happened to you is going to affect the rest of human history. What happened is that your spirit was began again your spirit your spirit became new created in the likeness and image of God as it was supposed to be it means that the most effective capacity for you to become massively relevant and not retrograde in life but move forward, reside inside the new spirit that is in you. Create in me a new heart. Renew the right spirit within me. Say, David, let me say this to you. Have you started the journey of exploration? Of the depth of your spirit have you begun to ask have you started to ask your spirit that is your real person to give you answers to what you've been struggling for all these years because hidden inside you is the real you and inside the real you is the answer to everything you ever needed. Jehovah, the most high. Inside, your spirit knows what your mind, that's your soul, faculty, and what your physical, your, 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 your body do not know. Your spirit knows 
because it has been made at the point of confessing of Jesus has been alive. Your spirit has been clothed with supernatural intelligence. You now possess supernatural intelligence. And you need to begin to explore the inside of you. Your spirit person needs to be explored. You need to tackle it with question, bombard it with question. If you do not begin to talk to your spirit, your spirit will just be there. You must give both your mind and both your spirit something to, to do. Give them a task to accomplish and see what will happen. I'm thirsty, I need something to drink. Hidden inside your spirit is great depth of things to be accomplished, things to be done. When are you going to begin to ask your spirit to tell you the truth? Ask the Holy Spirit to come and also dwell inside you because since Jesus dwells inside you, the Holy Spirit also dwells there, the Father also dwells there. So you have the right to interrogate your spirit, to tell your spirit, yield the truth to me, apostles and so then. Give me a yes. Human beings are exploring the depth of the ocean. They are exploring space. But one important place that human beings have not yet started to even explore. I think only about 10% of human spirit has been explored. What is inside the human spirit has not yet been explored. When we begin to explore, that's why in one of my videos I talk about the age of the spirit. You need to look for the video. The Age of the Spirit by Dikai Mary. Go and look for it on YouTube. When we begin to explore the spirit realm inside us, haha, what we are going to produce, what we are going to find, the gems, that is, that is G-E-M-S, the great things that has been deposited inside us. Ha! When you will begin to see what is inside you, you will know that you will not just listen to anything or say anything. Because you know how great you are because of God. And how great God is because of you. Let me begin to minister to you. Dear Father, open us up to begin to explore the spirit realm inside us. Begin to move mightily and help us, Lord, because many of us do not even know how to enter into the supernatural realm. Witches and wizards, people in the, in the, in the occult, all kind of people in the world of the darkness of this earth they know how to enter into the into their own area of the supernatural but father your children do not know how to enter into you so draw them to yourself and let them enter into the take them into the supernatural holy spirit begin to take the man and woman watching me into the supernatural let them become comfortable with the way you do your thing I want you to repeat this and say, Jesus, activate my spirit faculty. Activate all the senses of my spirit. Activate my mind, all the senses of my mind. Activate all the senses of my body. In Jesus' name, 
begin to do something big in my life. Amen. And amen. And amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer with me, write to me. I'm ready. I'm here to counsel you and to pray for you. My phone number is 425-4090-473. Call me. I'm here for you. 425-409-0473. You can, you can email me. You can email me at... You can email me... You can email me at... Idikai Mary 2000-2000 at gmail.com And you can also write to me at P.O. Box 12474 Wichita, Kansas. 67212 USA as of now. That's a post office box. And try and donate to my ministry. And the Almighty will also donate to your life. If you donate your material resources, your financial resources to me and to our ministries, God will donate to you. Amen. And I will see you soon. And God 